Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a clay tile roof. First thing I'm going to do is make the chimney so that I could then put the tile around it. I've, I've showed uh, in prior videos how I make my chimneys, but basically you use insulation foam and you mark it off a scale height and th uh, width. Creating the chimney is a simple matter of marking off all the bricks, painting everything that you'll see and then using a hot glue gun to glue it to the roof. So I'm going to cut a thing of foam about this size. First, I'm gonna cut this, this length, which is about three quarters of an inch by setting the fence to three quarters. Take some foam, turn it on, and slowly and steadily go through it. The next step is to cut the width. So I've got the height. So the next step is to cut the width. So I've set the fence for that. But I need to turn it on. Well, one of the trickier parts is the template of the, uh, the future tile has these, it's angled, so it's like a, you know, a gentle triangle. And to mass produce the tiles, I've got to introduce a, I have to, I have to trim these uh, blocks into the shape. To do that, I've got this essentially coffee stirrer that is two millimeters thick and I cut it so it is four millimeters wide. So the first cut will be done on the two millimeter side and then the second will be on the four millimeter side. So I'll show you. So first I will take this on the thinner part which is the two millimeter side, turn it on press the block onto the fence and that little coffee stirrer that's two millimeters thick right now, and then run it through, trying to avoid getting my fingers burnt or cut. I run it through. Because I'm, that coffee stirrer is in there, it introduces a slight angle. Now, by laying the coffee stirrer down to its four millimeter side, up against and cut in, and positioning, now that this is cut at an angle and this is still straight, I will put this side against the fence. And since this is only a two millimeter thickness, to get two millimeters on this side, I had to do this at four. So. I lay down the coffee stirrer, so it, now it's at its four millimeter thickness. And then I run it through by pressing against it and again, trying to avoid getting my fingers burnt. And I have pretty much two millimeters shaved on both sides. The next step is to cut these into thin slices so that they're thin enough to bend around. What I will use is a paint handle to get the curved shape to it. Uh, so you can't make it too thick. So luckily the scale thickness um, lends itself to bending it around a paintbrush handle, which I will show you next. The next step is to take one of these pre-cut foam pieces and wrap it around paintbrush handle to 
get it to bend. The next step is to uh, lay some hot glue across the, the roof and essentially put in the rounded tiles like they do in the real world. In, in this case, it would be upside down first. Following the lines. As a change of pace, you can start putting some clay tiles facing the correct way instead of upside down. And so they can start overlapping. So start from the bottom and work your way up. After several uh, short evening sessions, I completed the roof and now you can start painting. I always start with black to you know, make sure that no white uh, spaces ever show up. And after the black dries, you can then uh, start painting it with browns. Uh, I started with a dark brown and made my way to lighter brown, started mixing in some orange and some clay-like colors and I finished it off with some dry brushing of green paint to uh, simulate mold. Here is uh, some uh, different vegetations from Diorama Precipate that uh, I glued in. Uh, this is a very good product that I have in the past reviewed. The project is rather uh, simple but tedious, so put on some music or a podcast and take your time. Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitana. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.